These Baltimore pop punkers have kept things fast and loose and are still swinging a decade later. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're speaking with Alex and Jack from All Time Low to learn more about what has kept them together for 10 years and what they plan to do to celebrate that milestone. From the get-go, I knew this was hard to hold. We always like to start with the origin stories of the bands that we interview, so why don't you give us uh, the short version of how All Time Low first got together. Um, we met in high school, uh, freshman year, and uh, we formed then, um, played shows locally, kind of built up a following and the rest is history. By the time we by the time we were graduating high school we had a record deal and uh, it's been touring, touring, touring ever since. Idols and icons, who did you grow up listening to and uh, for your in individual instruments, who were like your big top um, guys? For me, a huge one is Dave Grohl uh, across the board. I think, you know, Mark, Tom and Travis from Blake. Um, Billy Joe Armstrong. Yeah, Billy Joe. Um, Billy Joel. And, Joel and, and Billy Joe and Billy Joel. Eric from The Little Mermaid, Prince, Eric, Prince, <laughs> Prince Eric. He looks like John Hamm. He's a handsome guy. He does look like John, <laughs> John Hamm. Weird. Good observation. It's a 30 Rock joke. I'm stealing it. I love 30 Rock. <laughs> Alec Baldwin, also an, an inspiration. I don't blame you. <laughs> the Baldwin brothers in general. Just <laughs> the whole thing. But not a driving force. Stephen. I don't know. Biodomes are not there. <laughs> Stephen, <laughs> Stephen Baldwin might be the best one. Guys had like a break at Christmas. Yeah, which we is, had like, the first break in a long time. Like. Yeah, it was nice. We um we were pretty busy last year, so it was good. We had about a month and a half off at home to just kind of relax and, and gather ourselves and and uh, do laundry. What'd you do? You don't want to know. <laughs> so many, you know, like I got drunk and I, I went through a car wash with just myself, no car. It's difficult to. It's like you wouldn't think that you could invent solo sex positions, but he's <laughs> now working on a novel. Yeah. Uh, kind of a Kama Sutra for one, if you will. I got this crazy one called The Pregnant Wife, but just me. It's awesome. <laughs> Buried in the Rose Garden is another pretty good one. Yeah. I like that one. Where am I? <laughs> no, this next one's like a serious question, so thanks. <clears throat> uh, what keeps you guys together as a band, and what has kept you together for so long? Solo conversation. <laughs> <Kama> Sutra <laughs> <by> mutual <laughs> masturbation. Um, the glue that keeps us together. It's just the, it's the thread that binds us. Um, We've been together for so long. It's like I, I've, our band and our crew at this point really feels like family, um, and so it's it's hard to kind of separate, you know, to when you when when a piece of the puzzle gets torn away uh, in a violent manner, you know, it leaves the rest of us feeling empty. So, uh, you know, we're we're sort of we're dealing with that right now, actually. <laughs> but uh, no, it's it's great. We we. You know, no one, if there's ever an issue, it gets resolved so quickly. It's, it's kind of like there is no alternative, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to kill your family member. If, if, if he was just a friend, I might kill him, but he's not. He's a brother. He's a brother to me. Any plans for your 10th anniversary? Uh, uh, I didn't think about that. I don't know. No. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> We're going to have to plan something, I guess. Um, Thanks for reminding us. Sorry. You're not supposed to plan your own anniversary, are you? Someone like someone should throw us a party. Throw yes. us a party. Okay. What have you been doing? <laughs> stop, stop watching Mojo and start planning Mojo. Yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I see what you did there. Mm -hmm. 